I'm already bitter. I'm just gonna say it. No, because this isn't vegan. I feel like, how do I say this? Guys, we're trying so many new things today. Drain and press the tofu. I don't know what it means to press tofu. Like, could it have killed me not to buy like vegan chocolate? I'm so far and over my head. I'm already bitter. I'm just gonna say it. I'm trying to go vegan for the day. It's already clear from the title. We already know. And you know, it really hit me. I'm a breakfast connoisseur. connoisseur. You guys know. I eat the same thing for breakfast. I love it. I live for it. And I realized last night that this video means... Like, I knew, like, okay, I can't have eggs. Like, I'm gonna be vegan for the day. I get it, but, like, it didn't process, like... I can't have my breakfast. Like usually like I need my breakfast and then I'm like, okay, like let's tackle the day. The fact that this is already gonna be thrown off for breakfast, I don't know how this day's gonna go, I just don't. Like I love turkey bacon, I can't have turkey bacon. And then one know what really got me over the edge? I was like, okay, well I can have oatmeal. And then I said, you know what Liv? You can't even have the chocolate that you put in your oatmeal. I was like, I'm done. I was like, I'm canceling the video, cut. So I'm already bitter, safe to say. And it also means I was like, I don't even think I have vegan protein powder. And I usually do use vegan protein powder, but I don't think that I do, we'll see. And so I just am also really am convinced to not be the person to be like, I can't get my protein in. Cause I know there's plenty of vegan bodybuilders who get their protein in. So like, I'm trying not to be like ignorant, but just right now I'm like, I have no clue what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I like kind of wanted to prep for this video, but I also like another part of me was like I wanted to go into this blind to like really have the challenge and like see what I can come up with. I already know I'm gonna end up having to look stuff up. And also I've never had tofu and I'm determined to try it today for the first time. So I feel like I just have to. I also don't wanna get my protein in from a bunch of like artificial sources. Like I don't wanna go to the store and buy like vegan chicken tenders. Like I just don't wanna do that because then it's like going against, I just feel like that defeats the purpose of like, not necessarily for everyone because everyone has different intentions to go vegan. But like for me, I think it's best to like eat as naturally and like whole food based as possible so i just feel like that would be me like turning to just like processed foods which i just feel like is redundant and is defeating the purpose of like healthier eating you know what i'm saying is this just me like i don't know i'm gonna be honest i don't know what i'm gonna have for protein this morning but i'm so hungry and i know i'm just gonna make my oatmeal and then we'll go from there when i'm more like level-headed and can move forward the good news is is i coincidentally i have you guys in my big tripod and i need to put you guys on my little one but i coincidentally bought this no cow protein bar yesterday and I forgot I was filming this video today so like this is a holy grail plant protein dairy free okay so I think we're in the clear it doesn't say that it contains any milk or anything like that so like or whey let's see if I have vegan protein powder 
Like, can I even take collagen? No, because this isn't vegan. Yeah, grass-fed and pasture-raised collagen with a cow on it. So, this isn't vegan collagen, I'm assuming. Contains milk. Nope. You guys, I don't even have protein powder. How are we supposed to go forward? Contains milk. Oh, other hot take tea. I really strongly dislike protein oats. So like I couldn't even have protein oats even if I had vegan protein because I do not like the texture. But I was thinking maybe like oatmeal with a shake on the side. But you guys, this is already so hard. Oh my gosh. Then I was like, okay, maybe Kodiak cakes. Like this has protein in it. Nope. Wanna know what's in here? Milk. I'm done. I need to get a better attitude about this. I need to bring my A game, accept the challenge, and show up. I'm gonna be fully honest right now, like I'm tight. I'm a little bit bitter because I don't even have almond butter right now to like make my oatmeal more enjoyable because there's no chocolate. I'm literally about to have oatmeal, cinnamon, strawberries, and flax seeds. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I'm like stressed. I love what I eat, I love food, I have it every day for a reason, and now I'm like really regretting this video. This is gonna be funny because I know by the end of the day, or when I'm watching this back editing, I'm gonna be like, Liv was hangry, and was feeling just some type of way, because she could never have food, but like, I am. I guess we're gonna go to put maple syrup on top of my oatmeal to make it sweeter, because we don't have chocolate. I'm gonna lose it. All right, gratitude hour. I'm thankful I can still have my oatmeal, because oatmeal really does carry the team. I just wanna make sure I don't like default this day to like just eating carbs and fats like i need to like try and like try to still have like a high protein day that might be ambitious a moderate amount of protein like i know i was saying i didn't prep for this video like low-key on purpose but like could it have killed me not to buy like vegan chocolate all right here we are my oatmeal with cinnamon banana strawberries and flaxseed i'm gonna top it with some maple syrup and i'm gonna have this no cow bar for some protein for meal numero uno <laughs> Don't ask me why I felt like I had the ability or capability to complete this video without going to the store. I knew I was gonna need to go to the grocery store, but like I thought like maybe for dinner, like no. We need to go now and we need to try to go get creative. You guys, this weather, the sun, say less. Say less. I love it. I just, I really love it. Grateful, thankful, blast. As always, today and every day. You guys, I don't even know where tofu is. Okay, so what I'm gonna make for lunch is essentially like a turkey sandwich, but like with tofu. And I got sourdough bread, avocado, tomato, some lettuce, and I'll link the recipe that I'm using down below in the description box because I got it from that Madeline Olivia girl. She's my saving grace right now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of nervous because I'm not the best cook and I've never even like seen tofu in real life. All right, it's moist. Drain and press the tofu. I don't know what it means to press tofu. I'm so far over my head. You guys, I feel like this is going on in history. Like literally this is my first time ever like seeing tofu, cooking tofu, eating it. I think this is what she means is press it. Get all the water out. Oh my gosh, there's so much water in there.
thoughts. So I had flipped them and put them back in, but like, please genuinely comment down below. Should they be getting crispier than this? Like, that one seems firm. But they're not like getting crispy, they're just getting like, see, I don't know. We're gonna eat it though. guys this doesn't look bad so we have the tofu with the dressing that she came up with we have the lettuce avocado and we have tomato underneath there and it's all in sourdough bread it's looking good all right i'm feeling more optimistic now I wasn't previously, but I'm kind of feeling optimistic. Let's try the, no, let's try it as a sandwich first and then maybe I'll try the tofu alone. I don't know if I'm gonna like the tofu texture plain. Hmm. Not bad, it's good. It's honestly good. I forgot to add ketchup. She also puts ve vegan mayo on. I don't have that. I didn't want to buy it because I know I would never use it again because I don't really like mayo anyway. Mmm. The seasoning on the tofu is good. I'm going to rate this a 7 out of 10. It's enjoyable, but I feel like the avocado and the bread is carrying the team, you know? Workout. It's really 545 and it's already the sun's already down for post workout I'm going to have this Owen protein shake not sponsored, but I do love their shakes I have worked with them in the past. I think my, my code may still be active for you guys I think it's lift fit 20 try it if you want to get these but they're completely vegan 100% plant-based 35 grams of plant-based protein in here No dairy soy wheat or peanuts. So I'm gonna get this in for like 35 grams protein plus workout. I'm gonna go to the store and then I'll reconvene at home because it's just too dark out to vlog right now. All right, so we're back from the store. Just picked up a few things, basically for dinner. Again, a recipe that I found online, this time on Pinterest. And it's like a kale, sweet potato, tempeh, tahini base, like dressing salad. It should be good. I'm excited for it. So sweet potatoes are already in the oven cooking. I'll also link this recipe below. But you guys, if you know, I'm obsessed with like the honey almond butter from Walmart. It's inexpensive and so good and sweet, but they've been out of it. I've gone to the store twice and it's not been there. And I just like can't go another day without nut butters, especially after this morning like I need it in my oatmeal and I've never had cashew butter but I actually love cashews so I'm like let's do a taste test I feel like it's either gonna be very bland or I'm really gonna like it let's see hmm wait peculiar don't come at me, but what I want to say is it really tastes like cashews <laughs> like hear me out I feel like when I have almond butter. I'm not like wow This is a straight-up grinded almond, but this I really get the flavor of a cashew. I like it. I'm excited <laughs> Do I think the tahini is an expired? I do. Am I gonna eat it? Yeah.
here's the final thing. It looks like a jumbled mess. Don't ask me how people make salads look cute. This doesn't look cute, but I feel like this is gonna be freaking good. I literally just mixed all her ingredients to make the dressing, poured it on some kale, popped some sweet potatoes in the oven at 425 for like 20, 30 minutes with just olive oil, paprika, and salt. Literally just put the tempeh in a pan on the stove with olive oil and soy sauce, let it get crispy. And then I also added some carrots, purple cabbage, and cucumber as well in the salad, and there's also some avi. Like, I'm excited to try this. I'm honestly nervous about the texture, but I was pleasantly surprised with the texture of the tofu. You guys, we're trying so many new things today. Tempo, tempo, tofu, tempeh, the cashew butter. Mm. I'm gonna try the tempeh solo. I really like the tempeh. I really like the texture of it. I mean, it's made out of soybeans, so it does kind of taste like just like roasted kind of bean type thing, but it's really good. I really like the texture. Oh, with the sweet potato, let's get everything. This is exquisite. I don't love the dressing, to be honest, but that's like minor detail that I can sub out. Wow. Mmm. She also put pumpkin seeds. I didn't do that, but... Mmm. This would be so good, like, as a summer dish. Like a summer salad. Divine. Here's my final consensus. So the people who are actually vegan are going to be like, Liv, shut up. But... I feel like this would be, how do I say this? I know it's not a style of eating. Like I understand not trying to disrespect anyone or the animals or anything. I'm just saying these meals that I had today, I feel like I would really gravitate towards like in the summer and I would really enjoy just because sometimes like meat feels like heavy to me, but this I definitely have felt like lighter throughout the day. So I feel like this is something I definitely would feel like I resonate more with like in the warmer summer months, I guess. And I will say I liked the tempeh more than the tofu, 100%. I liked the texture a lot better. It seemed like easier to handle for me. And like, I don't know, I just liked it better and there's more protein in it, so like plus. And I don't know, I just, I feel accomplished. Like the day turned around, I'm gonna be honest. I really had, I just thought, that it just wasn't gonna be pretty. This morning I was like, this is gonna be rough and I genuinely really was regretting doing this video. I'm not even gonna lie. But, like it turned out well and I do actually see myself like genuinely reaching for tempeh. So that's a plus and I'm happy that this made me like try new meals, cook new things, try new things, so I'm excited. But of course I can't the video. That was, I don't know why I stuttered so much. I can't end the video until we have dessert because like, how is that a full day of eating? I also realized I like chocolate rice cakes, not vegan, <laughs> no big deal. <laughs> Anyway, so I'm gonna have these Oreo Thins, dark chocolate Oreo Thins. I have these normally anyways, but they're vegan, so like, perk plus. And also, I like roughly did the math, and I hit like about 110 grams of protein, which like isn't bad, like for my first go, and like not having meals planned out. All right, people, thank you for watching all the way to this point. If you did, I'm honestly genuinely happy I did this. I knew this is what was going to happen. I was going to be bitter in the morning. And then by the end, I'd be like, that was such a great experience. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The next video in the Lip Fitness series will be up this coming Friday. I'm sending you guys so, so much love. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.